Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we've got to get some lids built for the 20 gallon tanks that we had installed earlier in phase two. All of our tanks in our fish room have lids to cut down on evaporation and moisture and things of that nature. So stay tuned and we're going to show you how to do it. So I wanted to show you a couple different options, a couple different uh, types of lids that I've, I've done. And this is all with the polycarbonate greenhouse siding. So the option, the first option is to build it with this knob and just kind of lift up on it. Uh, I don't have any hinges, it's not necessary. It's easy to do, I mean the knobs only cost, you know, and the screw to put it in less than a dollar. The problem is it's just a little bit more labor intensive and you still have to remove that part of the lid to feed the fish. Not a big deal if you've got one tank. It becomes a little bit more annoying when you've got 30 tanks you have to feed out and you've got to lift the lids every single time. So let me show you another way that I've done this. So that's the same. That's the same. Those were the early renditions. Down here, on these 20 highs, I have a hole that I just cut right in the front. And now, I don't have to lift anything. I can just put the food right in there. Much easier to deal with. I know it sounds like something really minor, but again, when you're feeding out multiple tanks, it just makes all the difference in the world. And so. That's the design. These 220s is pretty much the design I'm going to go with where I can still remove this part. Right, The front half comes off and the back half is a separate piece, which I highly recommend you do that as well, just for tank maintenance and things of that nature. So it doesn't have to look super pretty, but uh, at least for me, I just need to have something covering the tank to keep down on the evaporation, which these things do a great job. They let in a lot of light and they don't look too bad and again i'm just going to go ahead and cut that hole like i said right there that's a feeding hole if i need to pull that off it's, i can get my fingers in there rather than do what i did the first time around and that is use the knobs all right knobs look a little nicer maybe but it's just a little bit more convenient to do it the other way so here's the 220 gallons that we need to make the lids for i will put a little card in the video so you can see that video if you haven't seen it yet but these two tanks we need to make lids, like I said, and what we're going to do is we need to measure the inside of the lid here, from here to here, and then also the width. And it's important when we make these plastic lids to actually measure the dimensions inside the lip of the upper rim and not just the overall length, otherwise your lids are going to be too big. So we're going to measure that and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the polycarbonate that I use. All right, so this is the polycarbonate that I buy. Uh, it's from greenhousemegastore.com. I will put a link in the description for you. Uh, the nice thing about this is you can buy it in conveniently packaged uh, boxes where it will come in two foot wide and either four or, I believe it's either four or six foot long panels and they will generally try to ship those in one box. It keeps the shipping costs down. Uh, they ship pretty fast. The problem I ran into when I wanted to do this project last winter is you run around to all of the local stores and because obviously greenhouses are out of season when it's almost winter time, nobody carries this stuff. And so I found this place online and I've ordered from them a couple times. The stuff comes fast. It's always come in well packaged. Never had any issues. Like I said, you can get either eight or six, uh, six mil. I've been buying the eight mil just because it works out better. And so what we're gonna do next is we've got to cut this stuff up and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I did the measurements on the 20 gallon tanks and I needed a 23 and one eighth inch long piece by 11 and a half inches wide. That's what I have marked out here. I've got two 20 gallon tanks. So again, the nice thing about these two foot wide panels is the ability to really space this stuff out and get the most out of what you're purchasing. Now, for this project, I'm just going to use that jigsaw there. This would be way easier on a table saw. I just don't have one. So I'm gonna work with what I've got. I'm gonna cut this up. Now you'll notice that these have these panels have a, a film over them. There's, there's a film on both sides, but I'm gonna leave that on there, obviously, because I can draw all over it and it doesn't matter because it's not actually being drawn on the panel itself it's being drawn on the plastic. And then once I cut these to size, after I get all the cuts done, and so besides these cuts, I'm also gonna to wanna to cut each panel, each individual panel in half. So I have 
uh, the ability to clean the tanks and not have to remove the entire panel. And I'll also cut out a space in the back of each panel for, you know, uh, if you've got heater cords or filter parts that need to uh, gain access to the tank, I will cut that out as well. And then the little uh, piece in the front for a easy feed hole. So that's where we're headed next. And so I'm going to cut these things up and show you what it looks like. And of course, before you start cutting, it's just easier to do both pieces at the same time and some clamps will help uh, make sure that the pieces don't slide around on you. All right, so here you go. It's all cut up. It, again, it took just a few seconds to add in the little feed holes there. Those will be the front panels. The back panels both have a cutout for cords or tubes or whatever. So these things, I'm not, I don't hinge these or anything. They're just going to kind of rest up against one another. They've been doing a great job of keeping evaporation way down, keeping the fish in the tank. So all I have to do before we put them on the tank is remove the clamps, remove that protective coating. Next step, put them on the tanks. All right, everyone, so that's the project. And here you have it. This is the way it looks. Fits nice and flush. I think it looks pretty decent. It lets more light through than glass, which is a nice advantage. And it was super easy to do and saves a lot of money. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That whole project took about five minutes. Why do it? Because if you're going to buy glass lids for a 20 gallon high tank, that's gonna cost somewhere between 12 to $25 per tank. With the greenhouse siding, the eight millimeter polycarbonate siding the twin wall, it was about $22 for a two by six sheet. And that two by six sheet will allow me to put tops on six 20 gallon tanks. So you start doing the math and it just makes sense. It's durable, if it breaks, it's not a huge deal. It's easy to replace. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh, it's easy to clean and you can customize it for any size tank that you have. So I hope you like this. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.